Hello, my name is Jeff and I have a ton of free weight loss and fat burning information to share with you today. But first, that's not a picture of me. It's a picture of Isabel de los Rios, she actually created the diet solution, and her two-week-old son Christian. Cute, right? And yes, I'm talking about the baby. So who am I? I'm Isabel's longtime friend and we started the diet solution online together. Now that we've got that covered, let's get right to it. In this video, Isabel and I are going to show you how to burn off 10% of your unwanted weight and body fat in the next 30 days and continue to burn it off every month until you have the body you've always wanted. Look, I'm not going to tell you some catchy like lose 30 pounds the next week or we have one tip for amazing fat loss. You don't need any more empty promises. You need something that works and works for the long term. So let me just tell you a little about this video. First off, it will only be up for a very short time. We've actually never given away this much information before in a free video that you could watch all in one sitting. The truth is, all the information we're about to share is out there. The problem is that it's totally lost amongst all the ridiculously bad misinformation, hype, and scams. And finally, it's really only three basic concepts you need to know. Everything else you think you need to know is unnecessary and just leads to a lot of confusion. So what are these three magical principles? Well, you have to know the foods that cause accelerated fat burning. You have to learn the foods that are downright preventing you from burning fat, and yes, many of these are touted as healthy. And you have to know how to combine foods in a certain way to get the full fat burning effect. But don't worry, these principles are actually as easy to follow as they are to know, and we're going to show them all to you in just a moment. What can you expect if you follow these three easy principles? Well, you can expect to lose 3 to 10 pounds in the first week, and then consistent weight loss after that. These results are typical. I know you've seen a lot of ads where in the fine print says these results are not typical. Well, guess what? These results are typical. So let me just reiterate, if you watch this video start to finish and follow what we teach you, you will undoubtedly lose weight. Don't worry. This isn't a crash diet, a diet scam, a sales pitch for supplements or weight loss pills. Definitely no calorie counting or even a starvation diet. But this is real information you can use right now. So who exactly are we? Well, real quick, I told you my name is Jeff, and Isabel and I started the Diet Solution Program together in 2008. Oh, and just so you know that we don't just talk the talk, but also walk the walk, here's a picture of Isabel and I just a month after we launched this program. Check out those arms. Yes, I'm talking about Isabel's. If you want more info on Isabel, you can certainly Google her name, but let me just point out a couple of items. She's a fully certified nutritionist and an exercise specialist. She's also a speaker and an author, and her strategies have helped over 30,000 people worldwide. Now that you know who we are, I'm going to let Isabel talk to you a bit and make sure all the information we are about to give out is right for you. Hey there, Isabel here. And since Jeff already told you a little bit about me, I'm going to get right down to business. Chances are I know exactly where you are right now because I've seen it with myself and with thousands of my clients. Maybe you know you want to lose weight, but you have no idea where to begin. You may think you're doing everything right, but you're still not seeing any results. There's a lot of confusing and contradicting information out there, and you're just tired of it. You also don't want a diet that's going to take over your life. You're sick and tired of eating tasteless and boring diet food. And you want a fat loss strategy that's going to keep you motivated, something that's easy to stick to, not something you're just going to drop after a few days. Is this how you feel right now? You get on the scale in the morning and you're like, what the heck is going on here? I just ate celery and carrots all darn day. I'm on a super crash diet, or I did everything I was supposed to. Is that you? Is that how you feel? Trust me, you're not alone. Although I don't like to show these pictures, here's exactly what I used to look like. That's right. This is Isabel back in the day. Some people don't want to believe it, but it is. I assure you, this is her 30 pounds overweight, full of acne, and totally struggling. So this is what she looks like now. She figured out how to easily lose those 30 pounds and keep it off for almost 10 years now. I can sit here and tell you her whole story about how she went through every cockamamie diet scheme until she figured out a real long-term fat loss solution, but that would take way too long, and we have to get to the information we promised. Okay, here we go. Sugar is your number one enemy. I know what you're thinking. Hold on. You just told me this was going to be different. Tell me something I don't know. But we're not actually talking about jelly donuts and candy canes here. Yes, those are bad for you, but there are plenty of foods disguised as health foods that quickly change to sugar in your body. Guess what? Orange juice, whole wheat bread, healthy cereals, things designated as low-fat like muffins and salad dressings, the list goes on and on. 
These are the foods that are actually causing you to gain or at least not lose weight. Listen, I'm telling you the truth. When that stuff hits your system, it turns to sugar. Tons of foods that are touted as healthy do the same thing. They're not healthy. They're actually the foods that are preventing you from losing fat. Let me show you a little chart that I use to explain this to people. You see the column on the left? That represents your blood sugar. And no, blood sugar is not something only diabetics need to worry about. Anyone who's trying to burn stubborn fat off their body needs to regulate their blood sugar. Here's why. If your blood sugar is high, and by high I mean anything over the 100 to 120 zone for a consistent period of time, your body has no choice but to release a hormone called insulin. Insulin signals your body to store fat, and that's exactly what you don't want. But having high blood sugar for a consistent period of time is actually very dangerous for your body. So insulin comes in to save the day. Unfortunately, though, this makes you store lots of fat. There's even more bad news. I know, it couldn't get any worse, right? When insulin is released, it actually takes your blood sugar from a high to an extreme low. And do you know what happens when your blood sugar is low? You're hungry, you have cravings, and you're extremely fatigued. Is that how you felt on many diet programs? Is that how you feel a lot during the day? Doesn't that make it near impossible to stay on your fat-burning plan? Now, I'm not here to tell you we all don't need a certain amount of insulin in our bloodstream, because if we didn't, we'd all be walking around as diabetics. But what I am saying is that many people are releasing way too much insulin, and that's why it's nearly impossible for them to lose any weight. The answer that you need to this problem is knowing exactly which foods you can eat that will not cause this blood sugar insulin roller coaster. Let me go into explaining how to recognize those foods right now. I know you're probably surprised to see carbs written across the top of the screen, especially since we just got done talking about sugar, and many people associate carbs with sugar. But what you need to know is that not all carbs are created equal, and the ones that you're eating thinking they're healthy may be doing you more harm than good. Look. You need carbs to make your body function properly, but there are certain carbs you absolutely do not need. For example, many people believe the whole wheat bread they're eating is good for them. Definitely not. This couldn't be farther from the truth. Whole wheat bread will create an increase in blood sugar and insulin just as much as most other breads. This also happens with most pastas. Yes, even the whole wheat ones. Almost all cereals, crackers, even the ones that have all kind of healthy claims written all over the box. All of them will put you in that fat storing state. So which carbs should you eat? Well, lucky for you and me, there are a lot of them. If you're a fan of bread, as most people are, I probably really upset you before with all that bad news about bread. But there are still a lot of breads you can have. There are breads made from sprouted grains, or from grains like rice and spelt, that all fit perfectly into your fat-burning meal plan. And they taste good, too. I'm not into eating anything that tastes bad, and I'm sure you're not either. Speaking of good grains, how do you like rice? Ever heard of millet and quinoa? They're absolutely delicious. And although not a grain, how about a sweet potato with a little butter and cinnamon? Yes, you can have that and still burn tons of fat. You know what else qualifies as a good form of carbs? Pretty much any fruit and vegetables free game. And I know there are some crazy diet plans out there that limit the amount of fruits and vegetables you can have, but that's just a complete lie. Any diet that tells you you can't have something like a fruit or a vegetable is some crazy crash diet and not realistic for the long term. And that's not what we're trying to teach you here. The truth is the good fiber, vitamins, minerals, and nutrients in most fruits and vegetables will actually help you burn fat faster. Here's another very confused topic. If you don't know exactly what kinds of fat you should be eating, burning fat will be impossible. Yes, impossible. I almost can't believe that in this day and age, people are still afraid to eat fat. But who can blame them? We've been told by just about every health guru that fat is what makes people fat. This is another huge misconception and a big lie. You want to know what the real truth is? The right kind of fat will actually burn a ridiculous amount of fat off your body, increasing your chances of fat loss success exponentially. Here's why. When you give your body the right kind of fat, it actually increases the metabolic process to burn off your unwanted fat. Did you get that? Eat the right kind of fat and you will burn fat. Eat the wrong kind of fat and you'll store fat. Here are the fats you should be avoiding like the plague, because they are the ones that are causing you to gain weight and preventing you from losing the bad fat off your body. Hydrogenated oils, canola oil and vegetable oils, margarine, and definitely those substitute fake butter products. Surprised again? Did you think that processed fake margarine you were putting on your toast each morning was actually the right thing to do? 
I don't blame you. How could you not? With all those commercials out there telling you that it is actually the healthy alternative to butter, but have you read the ingredients list on there? That's not real food, and your body does nothing good with this stuff but store it as bad fat. Let me let you in on all the delicious fat you can have. Real butter, whole eggs, coconut oil, olive oil, avocados, raw nuts. You think I'm crazy now, don't you? This is usually the place where many people ask me, Isabel, aren't we all supposed to avoid saturated fat for our health? Am I going to keel over from a heart attack by eating butter and coconut oil? Definitely not. Another huge misconception and something most health professionals have all wrong. Statistics prove it. Remember, sugar is your enemy. All these natural unprocessed fats that are not full of chemicals are not only your friend, but what you absolutely need to burn that fat off your body. If we're going to consider sugar enemy number one, then processed foods would be enemy number two. But then again, most processed foods contain an incredible amount of sugar. Do you know what else they contain? Tons of chemicals that are making it almost impossible for your body to burn off fat. Let me explain this by giving you a brief anatomy lesson, and I promise it won't be hard. It all comes down to how effectively your liver is working. Now, your liver has many functions, but the two we want to focus on here are the breakdown of fats and the filtering of harmful substances from the blood. If it's your liver's job to break down fat, you want it working at full force, right? But when your poor little liver is too busy trying its hardest to filter out all the harmful substances that are coming in from all of those processed foods, it has no time or energy for fat breakdown. Just like if you had two big jobs each day and you spent your whole day working on just one, do you think the other would get done? Probably not. The easiest solution to making sure that your liver has all the time it needs to break down fat is to stop feeding it harmful substances to work on. So what are some of those harmful substances? Things like artificial sweeteners, high fructose corn syrup, hydrogenated oils, and even processed soy products. It's the foods that contain these chemicals that are overwhelming your liver and you have to stop eating them. Even if you think you may not be eating many of these chemicals, they are unfortunately in many foods we think are good for us. Do you know that I found high fructose corn syrup in foods like so-called healthy yogurt, whole wheat bread, and cereals advertised as good for you? It's right there on the ingredients list. So do yourself and your liver a favor. Give it a chance to get into fat burning mode by greatly reducing, or dare I say eliminating, processed foods from your eating plan. This means saying goodbye to the packaged snacks, the microwavable meals, diet health bars, and definitely the soy products, and say hello to foods you know do not require heavy processing. Foods that contain only one ingredient, like steak, chicken, fish, eggs, fruits and veggies, olive oil, coconut oil, butter, rice, and sweet potatoes. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of delicious meals that can be created with any combination of all of these foods. I know because I've done it, and I've been able to stay super lean over the past 10 years. Now let's get into a topic that's not exactly food, but I know it's probably on your mind. Calories. First and foremost, I'm going to be honest and tell you that I absolutely hate the word calories. It just drives everyone crazy. And I never again want to hear, Isabel, how many calories should I be eating to lose weight? It's not the number of calories that matters. It's the quality of food you're eating and the metabolic enhancing effects on your body that matters. So most people are actually focused on the wrong thing. If you just eliminate the bad stuff, the garbage foods, processed foods, and focus on eating the good stuff, the foods I mentioned earlier, you could drop the calculator and stop all this counting madness. But that answer is just not good enough for most people. I do admit, you have to be somewhat reasonable about the amount you eat. But exactly what is reasonable for you and what is reasonable for me? Surprisingly enough, it's a lot more calories than you think. Once I figured out that the portions of food I needed to eat to lose weight were actually significantly bigger than the portions I was eating before, it was like the best thing that ever happened. I didn't have to be hungry anymore, and I was still losing weight. How great is that? Here I was previously starving myself with all the wrong foods, only to find out if I ate all the right foods, I could eat a lot. And I love to eat. And actually starving myself was doing me more harm than good because my body was holding on to all of my bad fat in an effort to protect me. You might have heard this before, but calorie restriction may lead your body into starvation mode. And that's when your body thinks you're dying of starvation and protects you by holding on to every last bit of fat and 